We are the same mark, and this is our van TV. We start from South Korea and drove our van through Russia, Mongolia, and now Europe. We are going to drive around the world. So why don't you join us? Good morning, TV crew 분들. 저희 어, 무료 캠핑장에 도착했어요. 근데 지금 날씨가 안 좋아서 빨리 빨리 말하고 차 안에 들어가야 될것 같습니다. 캠핑장에는요, 덤프 스테이션이랑 그리고 솔로 패널이 있어가지고요. 전기 자전거 사용하시는 분들 무료로 충전할 수 있도록 해놨더라고요. 물은 무, 무료고 전기는 2유로를 내면 6시간 사용할 수 있더라고요. 아이고, 진짜 정신이 하나도 없네. <웃음> okay, I'm gonna block inside of the car. The reason why. Uh, when we got here, we both uh, we both got the horrible cold, and we didn't shoot anything. But during that time, the weather was so horrible. Storm hit the Italy so hard. It hit so hard in Rome and hailstorm. Everything is flooded over there. So we were in Rome like a few days ago, and then I'm kind of like. We said like, oh my god, we could be in trouble. TV could be sunk in the water. Possible when we saw the picture, those areas where we park and camp. Flooded. Yeah, flooded and hailed. So ice is like huge ice in Rome right now. So hopefully everyone is okay in there. Today is like still we have a little bit storm left. And wind is crazy, and we were checking the trees, and trees like shaking so much. We are trying to get away from uh, huge trees before it falls down to us. Right? right. <laughs> Mark is not in good condition. It's cold. Yep. <laughs> we both are like, oh man, this cold is so horrible. But anyways, we are gonna go to uh, down to south part. <laughs> so that we can have the uh, good weather, but unfortunately we cannot jump in the water because of cold. But anyways, let's start today. 오늘도 가봅시다, TV 크루분들. Let's go, TV cruise. Yee! Oh my god, looks so yummy. It's better than the last one. We found a great spot to camp close to the beach, just as it was getting dark. While eating the pizza we picked up earlier, we could hear a commotion outside. Hello. Hello. Where's, where's the other guy? We played with these guys for a while, but our colds had zapped the little energy we had left. So we turned in early and hopefully our new friends would still be around in the morning. <laughs> yeah. It's gone already? Yeah. It's gone. They must be hungry. I got another can, I should give them that. <laughs> yeah, I guess one can wasn't enough. Yeah. You guys have a big belly, huh? You like that? Sit. Oh. What is that? That's my ball. Our new little friends would stay with us for the next several days. But they weren't the only <laughs> new friends we would meet. Yeah, have a little tour if you want. Manuela, yeah. Mark. Mark? Mark. Nice to meet you. And this is Lucy. Lucy. Zach. 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 I shake your hand, but I don't want to infect yeah. you. Manuela. So. Oh, Manuela. <laughs> 
recognize the Mark. Music. Mark. Mm. Mark. Mark and Lucy. Mark and Lucy. Zach and Manu had a beautiful fan that had some very unique features, like a fold-down Murphy bed. We sat down and had a little chat with them. I start. Okay. okay, my name is Manuela, and I'm from Argentina. Yeah, and I'm from Perth, Australia. We met about, uh, what, four months ago? <laughs> and um, it was by chance, I was in Broome, and, and um, just met on the beach, and we hit it off pretty well. And uh, I was always planning to come to Italy to to travel a bit and um, just asked her if she wanted to come and say <laughs> yes. Yeah, she That's said yes really. and uh, it's, <laughs> been, it's, been, um, it's been nothing but good. I don't know, from the first day we have a, like a connection, so... Yeah, we um, lived out of her friend's car for the first... Yeah, because I was in Broome and living in a car, <laughs> literally, and then I met Zach in the beach and then we said, okay, if you want, you can live with me in the car. Yeah. <laughs> so we started off with really? a small like uh, station wagon. <laughs> Just, just like a little mattress in the back, and, and uh, so simple. even in that cramped space, we we just got on really well. And the Renault Master L2 H3, I think it is, meaning like the length is two, and the height is three. Three is as high as they can get, and two is second longest. Main reason was so I could stand up in it. Even though I'm a short guy, <laughs> uh, it's it's to ha just have the ability to stand up is is brilliant. Got it done. Seven weeks. This was seven weeks, like every day oh, and okay. and the key was having the right tools so my friend that I was staying with Lawrence um, he's he's got a bunch of different tools it's made it so easy you know just having a nail gun for for example like putting all this wood in so I think materials uh, alone without uh, fridges or batteries or anything like that uh, was probably around 1800 euros and then after I bought the battery and the fridge and stuff like that um, and all the little trinkets and stuff to make it a bit better. Probably pushed out to about two and a half thousand euros. So I bought the van for three thousand nine hundred and maybe two, two and a half. So all up, probably looking about six and a half, something like that. It's a beautiful van. It looks amazing inside here, guys. So this this bed just folds down, yeah. right? It's a flip down bed. Yeah. Yeah, so you just unhook it and it flips down and just sits on top of this. Like, that's the little seat that comes up. So you can sit here and then this, uh, this pulls oh, kind of all, okay. all the way out to that's here. Yeah, it's like a little, but we haven't really been using it because we just kind of eat outside or whatever yeah. but when you when I was in Tarifa and I stayed there for three months it kind of um, it's good because you you turn it more into a, a house rather than just like a little van so. and then this is just where we keep our food um, I think cooking area we just really simple I haven't drilled a hole through the floor of the van yet, so the waste just collects in here. It's like a hammock that here is from one end, so I just back you yeah. up to the other here. Put that on, and then you really want to feel out here. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah. So, we have like these containers that will put the clothes here under there. We've got some USB outputs that run into the battery bank and we just have a separate battery bank that we charge when it's sunny. And my battery compartment's like, it's kind of hidden a little bit under there. It's underneath my, my speaker and my subwoofer. When you've got both the doors open, you know, like, and you park on a beach somewhere, like this. Beautiful. Uh, before I met Manu, I uh, spent um, about a year in the van traveling around and then um, I mentioned before I got a bit, a bit sick so I had to kind of go home for a bit and 
It was just from not taking care of myself, you know, eating bad food, drinking too much. You get ill and all of a sudden everything stops and you have to reevaluate like what's important and, and and really what's important is your body because without it you can't do you can't do anything. And so I had to really change a lot of things and having to cook for yourself every day because you can't eat meals from other places, like you learn how to cook and you learn about nutrition and you learn what does what and so now I'm a pretty good cook and <laughs> a lot. I learned Manu, a lot. <laughs> Manu, uh, yeah, she's kind of learning as as we go, and we we cook together. And, uh, yeah, it's good. Small places are. I I don't know. I feel really comfortable there. It's not like oh no, I'm in the in the van and it's, I don't have space. Like really, this one is really big, so it's really nice. The only bad thing is maybe the shower, <laughs> because <laughs> we have to always find a place to take a shower or yeah. go to a toilet or whatever, whatever. but in, in other case, like, we have everything, the battery is like charging, yeah. yeah, with the solar panel, so we're pretty comfortable. Yeah, for you, showers, <laughs> me, I, I can go a couple of weeks, you know, without a shower, and I've got my little rag that I uh, wash myself <laughs> with, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the best thing, Best thing for me, I think, uh, having the having the small space and it kind of makes everything inside the space um, you use. You yeah. use everything, so uh, nothing in this van sits there and does nothing, you know. So it gives you the ability to um, develop that kind of creativity. This is a small space, but you've got all this area as yeah. your playground, and you start to relax, and then and then the creativity comes, you know, the music. The guitar, the, the creation of we, you know, we draw a bit of stuff every now and then, and just that kind of that kind of thing really goes a long way. The more you, the more feet you put inside society, the more it holds on to you, and and to to get away from that, you just need to believe that you can. First thing is is be be prepared or be willing to, to let go of, of things, possessions that might be holding you. Oh, yeah. Whether it's your house, it's a bit different if you've got kids and stuff like that. You know, you need to weigh up if you want to be a, a good parent or take care of yourself. You know, I'd choose to be a good parent because the kids, but that's your your choice. But if you don't have you know responsibilities like children or something like that, and you know you've just got a house or you've just got it like furniture that you bought or a nice TV, just, just having the ability to, to let that go and, and realise it doesn't mean as much as, you can always buy new stuff if you can believe that, that things can be better and you don't have to live a certain way just because everyone's told you you have to live a certain way. Yeah. And I think another, another tip is like explore, don't keep in the, in the tourist place, it's like I don't know, if you go to Rome, only go to the Vatican because there's so many places like yeah. We only, I don't know, we change always the plans and we say, okay, we want to go to Venice. And then we say, okay, but where is, what, what is in the middle of between Venice? So we start to, to research and blogs and stuff and we start to explore like this. This place is not so well known, so, and it's beautiful and we spend, I think we will spend a lot, a lot of days here. So they, like the, the freedom to explore and new, new things and, I think this one is the best thing. If people want to follow you guys and check you, you know how you're doing, how can they find you? Um, I have an Instagram that is Manu Valera. I always like share about a little bit about our life. When I built this, I, I did a bunch of videos um, on how to build it, and I've got a bit of a like a montage kind of parody video as well. But um, that's uh, Zach B Free and. Um, that's on YouTube and, and Instagram. But uh, we'll probably set something up mm. for both of us pretty soon. And because we have a lot of content, like yeah, we've got a lot we of love photograph and making videos. I'm making a video of all the trips, so. 여러분, 제 목소리가 별로 안 좋은 거 아실 거예요. 인터뷰 이후에 감기가 좀더 심해져가지고 마크랑 저랑 기침 많이 하고 있었거든요. 근데 제기 감기 걸리면 만들어 먹는 티가 있는데 갖다 줬어요. 직접 끓여가지고. 진저랑 그리고 레몬이랑 넣어서 만든 거라고 합니다. 여튼 
고맙습니다. 잘 마시겠습니다. 굿모닝입니다. TV 그룹분들 아, 제 목소리가 좀 가라앉았죠? 아직 감기가 안, 나, 안 나가지고 저보다 마크가 오늘 좀안 좋아서 어, 좀 걱정이긴 한데요. <웃음> 약이 다 떨어져가지고 지금 급하게 어, 약국 찾으러 가야 될것 같습니다. 떠날 준비를 하려고 하는데 마크가 사라져가지고 찾으러 가는 중입니다. 이거 마크 상태가 오늘 안 좋아요. 열이 좀 있는 것 같아요. 해열제를 먹이고 약국 가서 기침약이랑 이렇게 구해서 먹이고 재워야겠습니다. 감기에 제일 좋은 약은 잠이랑 쉬는 거니까요. 마크 저기 있다. three dogs actually um, while we are staying they were just like taking care of TV and they they were like barking someone like come to our van and the other van is <laughs> nice dog friendly I think they don't have owner they just love to chill out on the beach and Sun nice life <laughs> Hey guys, we're leaving. Yeah, that's nice. me, man. Uh, and, and, oh, yeah, yeah we terrible. Should, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want this. You don't want any of this. <laughs> Next time we'll be seeing. Eh? <laughs> yeah, where's Manu? She's inside. Yeah, yeah, uh, Manu. Well, she might be. Um, we're gone. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we can uh, hug. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Keep the barrier here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, next yeah, time we too. see you guys. And now we're we gonna give you a big hug. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Catch Thanks. Have a good trip. See ya. Thanks for, thanks for everything. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think about the video? Do you guys like it? Share your dot below comment, it will help us a lot. Oh, if you like the video, hit the like button. It will give us the power to create more videos. If you're new to our channel, click here to subscribe and you will see more videos. Other videos will show here. If you miss our videos, click here to check it. Then, bye bye! <laughs>